we're going to do the podcast intro. I was trying to figure out if I wanted a theme song for the podcast or not, and I realized I hate I hate, <laughs> I, I hate theme songs. I hate like video intros. I hate video outros. I've realized I'm never, ever, except for like the outro that I have right now. When I decide I don't want my outro that I have now, I'm not doing an outro at all anymore. Uh, intros, intros are outdated. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. Intros are well, however, they are um, sometimes like they make it look fancy. If it, if it's a good intro, it makes it look it like makes it look crisp and clean. Yeah, like um, I, yeah, Nappy, the King Nappy, mm -hmm. great example. Yeah, you know, I, he has like the intros to the stuff. It looks fabulous because it's all like mm -hmm. animated and, and edited, and everything comes together like perfectly. And what it is, it's it's that. If it's his thing, like you look, you look at his intro and you're like, oh, this is very clearly King Nappy. This is his style. Like it's, it's featuring what his favorite Pokemon It's all in his favorite colors. Like they, they all, they all work together. I realized for me, there's, I don't really have a, I don't really have a theme that would work for me. Like it lime took, green it, and it, orange. It, 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 took, it took me forever to get my outro. Like even the song for it, I was like, "Oh, this is this." I, if I don't choose this, there's nothing that would work for me because it is perfect. And then a lot of people actually told me they were like, "Yo, you picked the you picked the perfect song. This this feels this follows your flow, your energy, all of that." If I if I change it, I'm just getting rid of it because it took entirely yeah. too long to get it together. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Adventure Cast. Uh, it's a podcast that I've actually been trying to put together forever. And like I said, it took me a while, but I, I think I finally got it. And when I decide I'm not doing this podcast anymore, I'm just not doing it. Any podcast, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Uh, today I have a wonderful guest with me. We have Jonas, who is one half of the channel Between the Lines. What's going on, Jonas? I didn't know you were going to start. I was looking at your channel. I was just like, <laughs> la, 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 la. And then you like started immediately. You like didn't even skip a beat. You're like, hello, everybody. Well, I've been, uh... doing, I've been doing this a while. I've been hosting. Okay. I am Jonas. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I, I uh, run the channel uh, Between Lines mm -hmm. uh, with my buddy Julian, mm -hmm. and we we uh, basically just uh, fuck up at different games and uh, put it on the internet for people to uh, watch if they're bored. One thing I I obviously forgot to mention. I want no cussing. To, yeah, I wanted to keep this PG, ah, but, but dang, but fuck it, we're here now. We're here now. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so Jonas, I only right. mentioned only mentioned one of the channels that you're on. I figured you would want to uh, introduce the rest of the channels if if you would be so kind as to do the honors, sir. Wait, you you want me to introduce my other channel? I mean, if if you're down, <laughs> if not, that's cool too. We can we can they're, they're mosey so on. They're so stupid. Past they're so stupid. Okay, we have <laughs> we have between lines, which is the the quote unquote main channel with more subscribers and more views but it's got like less actual people watching it than the, my other channel which is lost without the s so it's like lost which is like some sort of word in spanish which if you search it it just comes up with a bunch of spanish crap and then we play like dark souls and i'm gonna be doing um uh, fallout in the future and um I don't know, Skyrim and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that stuff, you go to that channel. Um, and then vlog channels, I just talk about random stupid stuff like what I ate for lunch and then deep topics like depression and stuff. You know, yeah. that's pretty, that's actually a lot. That's a lot of stuff. And I was thinking about doing a vlog channel and I realized I I sit at a computer all day. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Nah, my vlogs, my vlogs aren't vlogs. My vlogs, okay, you think of a vlog, you think of like, oh, guys, I'm going to the store and going to buy, like, all this stuff and then look at my fancy house and look at me going ice skating and, like, all this <laughs> random stuff. And that's not what a vlog's about. A vlog is about talking. Video log. You vlog stuff, regardless of what it is. So you just talk about, like, aimless, like, stupid stuff that happens throughout your day or funny stuff that happens. Like, it's, ah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, fuck it, I'm ranting already. <laughs> He's ranting. All Just get the questions. Go in the questions. Just go in the questions. Before we go to the questions, one of the things that I do want to mention here on the podcast on our first episode is that whenever I do a podcast, an episode of the podcast, excuse me, uh, I also want to play a game with the guest on the podcast. That way, you get more than one look at. Whoever's on the podcast, you get to see us playing a game together, or you get to visit their channel. Uh, and with Jonas here, uh, what we just did for like the past three hours, we played a wonderful game called uh, We Were Here. It's called We Were Here. It's available on Steam. I have a link in the description where you can check the game out for yourself. It's free to play. Uh, and I also have a vi- uh, link leading over to his channel. Uh, which will have the yep. footage of us playing. We were I'll here. I'll play edited it. Spoiler alert! I'll play <laughs> edit it for me. So, um, so if it's it, good. So it's if, good. If, Actually, good editing. It. I, I, see, a lot of people say that I edit well. I don't. I genuinely don't think I do. Like for the past, I want to say, I want to say two or three months. I've been thinking like I'm not a good editor. Like I just have a sense of a style, and I, I'm good mm. at following through with that. Like if you if you would ask me how do you edit stuff, I'm j- I'm really yeah. just gonna tell you. Oh man, you, you, well you you make sure your audio's good. You you cut out the stuff that's boring and you leave in the interesting stuff. Like, but that but that's not style. That's pretty much just how you edit anything. Like I, I, have, a, I have I have I have an idea of how how to yeah. how to how to build a style and make it work. You know. And and, mm-hmm. and and that's what I have. I, I, I you do, don't you don't have a method. You have guidelines. Yeah, like I I understand. Okay, uh, I want to cut away from something because this part's gonna be boring. Okay, so what are the different ways I can cut away from something? Well, I can have a fade between uh this part and that part that I want to connect, or I can just do a a jump cut. As long as everything else looks like it's supposed to be there, you know, and then once I figure out once, that's exactly what I do every single time for the rest of the series. So I, you've got it down to no, nope, you're exposed. That's a formula. <laughs> exposed. That's a formula. You're, exposed. There's no passion in your videos. Well, we don't see it all play. I'm just kidding. Well, one of the things about uh, I don't think people like actually realize this and, and it started in streams that like people started to come around to it. I'm boring. I know I'm boring, and and boring's okay because I don't really like a lot of flashy things. Like I don't like I don't like all you, these templated you intros. Paint oh. your walls orange and blue. Well, I would, but it it would be like <laughs> like okay, it'd be so, like dull faded yeah, colors. It, it, it'd be it'd be faded orange and blue. You know, it wouldn't be popping yeah. orange and blue. It'd be bo- it'd be boring. And I know I'm boring, and that's and that's okay because boring is part of my style. You know, like I said, oh, I, oh I, yeah, okay. I don't I don't like flashy intros. I don't like I don't like having dubstep in the background of everything <laughs> that I do. You know. <laughs> And, and if and if, like and if Minecraft intros, right? And if that works, that was like twenty fourteen. And one hundred percent, if that works for you, that's okay. I'm not trying to put that down. If if that's what anybody, if that's your style, go for it. Make it work. It it does not work for me. It absolutely does not work for me. It's it's kind of like a clashing of energy, you know? Like because mm-hmm. I I can be I can be kind of upbeat sometimes, but then if the music's trying to be more upbeat than me. Now nah, I got. Now we got to go back and forth. It doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> Music's it, just like going ah uh, ham, and you're. I'm trying to focus right. Music, right. Please. It it absolutely doesn't work. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we're here for a reason. I think. We're um. Here. What was? The, we're what, here what for. Are we here for? We're here for a reason. Like I said. Uh, did I even? Did I even say it all the way? I don't, I don't know. I don't Where, know. <laughs> what was it? What is this? What is this video about? I think I was supposed before we go into that. I think I was supposed to say, uh, check out the playthrough I did over on uh, yeah. Jonas's channel. So it's gonna be on one of them three channels. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be over <laughs> it's there. It's gonna be on the main channel. It's and, gonna be on the main channel, and it's gonna be a holy mess. That's that's how we got into the style. Uh, th- it's gonna be. I, I want it to be done in a concise way where it's easy to keep up with whose perspective you're watching, because you can see it from both of our sides. That's how I got into style. Okay. Yeah. Well, I went off on a tangent. I apologize. It's gonna happen again, but I apologize. Uh, it, it happened like 
twice already this video. Just like deep <laughs> breaths. We got to make it through. We got to get to the topics and get out of here. Okay. So like I said, this is this is my audience's opportunity to learn a little bit about you, Jonas, as well as learn a little bit about me. I feel like... I feel like my audience doesn't know me because uh, over in my Discord. I don't know you. Over in my Discord. I know. Shit, we weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> over, over in my Discord, we got people who say, chill, chill would absolutely be this type of person. It's a, it's a picture of a person playing Pokemon and they got on, they got on like their own cosplay outfit. They made their own character, their bird keeper, chill, and they got on the big old hat and they got a Pikachu on the shoulder and he's holding a, a phone in his hand that's got Pokemon Go. And I was like, yo, I don't even, I don't even like Pokemon like that. I really, I genuinely don't. So I realized my audience doesn't really know me like that. And I would like to squash that. I would like for my audience to know me as well. But uh, because we also did the, the thing together, I'd like for my audience to get to know you because I actually watch a lot of your streams. I catch your videos from time to time. And well, what? What are you talking about? I, I don't know like, this. I, I don't know if you know this, but I actually, I actually enjoy your chicken little videos. They, they, <laughs> I, 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 I want to tell you. You said it. You said it. No. I, I want to tell you in the comments, but I actually enjoy your Chicken Little episodes. They, they're they're pretty because it's it's well timed. I like well timed comedy, and it's 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 moving. It's the whole time. Oh my the whole God. time. Literally every time you and uh you and your partner, what's his name? I forgot his name. I'm sorry. Julian. Julian. Because you're both J. I get I get it mixed up. When I try, yeah. when I try and remember it, but when every time you and Julia laughed, I'm rolling. I'm rolling too. It's it's oh hilarious. I, I really enjoy it. You better keep Chicken Little. If anyone tells you, uh, anyone tells you abandon Chicken Little, tell them I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's hilarious because that's like one of the the videos that is not doing good at all on my channel. Like nobody watches it. Nobody really cares. I'm like, I'm enjoying uh, it. The, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, it. You I'm got so you got one fan right there. Yes. Okay. So, like I said, uh, I wanted my audience to get to know me as well as get to know you because I think you're yeah, funny. Yeah. So, so don't 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 draw alt play with Pikachu anymore. Never. Draw him with the chicken little outfit. Yes, chicken little. Go for it. I'm I'm down. I'm down. So so I pre I, pre I prepare some questions so I feel like I can get to know you better. You get to know me better than my audience as well as your audience can get to know you better. Okay. And I already sent them to him ahead of time, so he's had time to figure out the best lie he can for these answers. Yeah, I I had nothing <laughs> questions. Let me tell you, I'm just gonna make up. Now, I got I, some pretty good lies. Now I didn't want you to lie. I actually wanted you to go okay. in depth, or I won't say in depth, but I wanted you to talk about your oh, answers. I will. I will do as the Christian apologists do uh, and go around the question <laughs> instead of actually like confront the question. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. You know, pretty pretty baseline with the first question. Are there any games announced for 2018 that you're looking forward to? Um. Well, I'm gonna say no, but that's only because I don't actually care. Um, my my method about going around games is is if you if you have any, I talk about this on the vlog channel actually. And <laughs> plug if you. <laughs> if you know anything about the game then you have like this like especially if it's a game in the future that's going to come out and you have like you see all these trailers and you show all these things and they're all expectations that you have for this game and you're like oh this is gonna be the best game ever or you're gonna you're you know you end up not liking the game as much in my opinion that's like um, when you when you eat a food or something like that, and you hear this food's really good, and people are always like, "Oh, go to this, go to this restaurant, They'll get this food. It's super good." And you're like, "Oh, okay, I'll get this food. I hear it's great." And you try it, and you're like, "Ah, oh, this is mediocre." Well, you're like disappointed in that fact, but in reality, <clears throat> like if you try something and you don't like it, you gotta think about it and be like, "Well, do I not like it because?" I don't actually like it or do I not like it because it's something that I didn't expect it to be. Mm. And so that's, that's the way I kind of go about games. So I'm just kind of like introduced to the games, like all these games, I literally have no idea what dark souls is mm -hmm. like until I started playing. I had no idea. I still don't know what Skyrim is. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. And that's, it's a good thing for me to be able to play through the game and you actually get my genuine experience of playing through the game rather than have all these expectations that aren't fulfilled. 
So that's why I don't really keep up on the games coming out, and I don't really, unless people like tell me to play a game, I won't research it beforehand because it'll give me all these different things that I expect from the game that I mm-hmm. won't be filled. That's a good. What about look. you? That's actually, that's actually a really good look at it. That's a good way to to look at it. I'm I'm that way to an extent. I I won't say I don't look at games. Like I don't say, oh, this game's coming out, I can't wait for it. I will say I do that to the limit of a series. Like for example, uh, let's see, what's a good like Smash Brothers? I I played Smash all the Smash Brothers games co- growing up. So I'll look into Smash Brothers when they say, oh, we've got the next Smash coming out. It'll be Smash 6, I guess. It'll be for the, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'll look into it just to see, you know, what they've changed from previous games and things like that. But I won't go super mm-hmm. in-depth like, oh, uh, they have this stage available and <laughs> it is from this series and all of that. Because yeah. th- I don't I don't care that much. I care just enough to be like, oh, okay. It's another game in a series that I enjoy. Um, obviously, I'm interested. I, I can't yeah. help. I can't help but be interested. Uh, but I won't go super researched into it. Like, oh, they they made it so his his AAA attack is actually his AAB from last time, and it's weaker, but it's faster. You know, I don't go to that extent. I feel like um, that's kind of how I am with like different. Like RuneScape, I uh, RuneScape is like a, this obscure game at this point. Like RS3 is like really, really obscure. But mm-hmm. uh, RuneScape uh, old school is like actually people actually really care about it. Anyway, the point of it is it's a, it's an existing game. All they do is update it. They don't they don't uh, have like a sequel to it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just this game that flows kind of, and it, all the updates affect it differently. Well. If you were actually really into that game, you look at all the updates that are going to come out and like predict what people are going to do mm-hmm. when the update comes out and like things like that, and be like, "Oh, this change the game in this way, and this way, and this way, and stuff." I don't do that because it doesn't really. I don't really care, mm-hmm. even though it's like a great opportunity to make money and stuff. It's like, oh, this is cool in the game. It's like a, kind of like a surprise. You know, that's why you don't like shake your boxes in Christmas time when you're like going to look at them because right. you're like, oh, what is this? What is this present? Because then it ruins the surprise or you uh-huh. get disappointed when you don't get what you think you got. Right. You build yourself up and then let yourself down. Yeah. Now, with that said, what I do do is I, I'm actually. You do you do you what you do do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't care what you. <laughs> I I don't want to hear anything about that. Now, uh, <laughs> moving on, um, I'm, I actually do keep up with a lot of different companies or developers um, because I'm big, I'm big fans of many of the games that they put out. For example, Clay. Clay Entertainment, they put out Crypt of the Necrodancer, uh, which is a rhythm-based roguelike, and then they put out uh, Don't Starve, which is an adventure survival game. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, craft, crafting starve. surviving it. Yeah. I actually have Don't Starve. I've never played it. Oh, it's it's actually one of my favorite games. It's up top. If it that game actually changed my life. If it wasn't for Don't Starve, I probably wouldn't. You would have starved. Well, I probably would have <laughs> never gotten to PC gaming. I never. Oh, I, okay. Like, like my Steam library is ridiculous now because I found Don't Starve one day, played it once, died, and I was hooked. I was hooked. Um, but what I'm getting at is oh, uh. Clay, like any any time they put out a game, I'm instantly there. I know I know I'm gonna have a great time because they don't really put out bad games. Like they make sure they test everything out. They they play with their mechanics as best as possible. And another company that's like that is Chucklefish. Chucklefish they put out Starbound, which is kind of like Terraria. Uh, and they have a game calling called War Groove that's coming out. I'm interested in that game. Um. It's if you play Fire Emblem, it's like Fire Emblem, but it's got a more cartoony look to it. Uh, and again, this Chuckle Chucklefish puts out a lot of great quality games, so that, that's on my list. That's on my list. Let's see. Okay, so question number two: What are your top three game series or franchise? Note: I'm not limiting this to vid- video games. Whenever, whenever I ask a question about games, I'm not specifically talking about video games because I play many more. I games. like Monopoly. <laughs> hey, hey, Monopoly could be your top. I, I love Monopoly. Monopoly is one of my. Favorite I games. I haven't played Monopoly very much. I really want to get like. I actually really enjoy Monopoly because of like the strategies and stuffs. 
you know, but like you can just play it for fun. You don't actually have to play it. For... I know people play it for like real money. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, how do you do that? You got like hundreds and thousands of dollars you know, uh, playing this game. I'm like, oh my God, rich people. Rich Why? people. Oh my God. I'm sick. <laughs> anyway. I, I used to have a Monopoly collection. I have a. Uh, really? I have the standard Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly Onyx Edition, Ruby Edition, Sapphire Edition, which are all the boards and all the pieces and stuff, but it's all black, red, blue, respectively. Mm-hmm. I have Pokemon Johto Monopoly, and I want Kanto, <laughs> the guy to complete the collection. I know? had Kanto. I had Kanto. Yeah. Um, we got it from Goodwill, and I, I just basically chewed on all the pieces because oh. I was a little kid at the time. And oh. so all of, the, all of the little fairies are like, destroyed oh that's nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay top three game franchise go okay um well i do my i do enjoy myself a good pokeball every once in a while mm-hmm. um i don't really know and I, again i don't follow this stuff so i don't understand what a franchise is or like it, or like series like ah, it's, gosh don't understand anything okay so um, fr- franchise let's see an easy way to describe a franchise so super mario would be a franchise that so would like the, uh, games based around the same character or like around the same thing sound more or yeah. less the same contained universe so if you say you like the mario franchise oh. you also like the yoshi games the wario Ware games oh uh, i see i see donkey kong things like that okay. actually well I... donkey kong separate donkey kong does not count so I enjoy like, myself a good Pokemon every once in a while. I um, I have my own mug. Mm-hmm. I have a Pokeball mug that my girlfriend got me. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, and then uh, what else do I have uh, in my head? Things, games I like. Um, I I really liked RuneScape for a long time. Mm-hmm. I still play RuneScape. And then uh, I played Minecraft for like my entire life i grew up playing minecraft Mm -hmm. and i I grew up playing minecraft on peaceful mode and then i learned that you can actually turn on monsters because at that time i was such a little kid that i didn't understand that my mom said it's a peaceful mode so i wouldn't rage quit (laughs) so i learned how a game can be super easy and then i turned the difficulty up and i learned that games can be hard And uh, I think I've said three at this point, but I really do like Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls is, like, super-duper fun for me. Um, although, it is kind of a pain in the butt yeah. sometimes. Uh, it, it kicks you in the ass as hard as you don't want to be kicked in the ass. Mm-hmm. And then it just decides that, oh, you, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to... It's like... um. <laughs> how do i explain this um so you 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 get a you get a puzzle or something like that and you're mm-hmm. forced to see this puzzle and then uh you, you're like okay i know how to get past so you make it past the puzzle well the next time you see that puzzle it's the game is like oh i know you've seen this puzzle so i'm gonna make the puzzle actually not the puzzle i'm gonna make it the way that you got out of the puzzle last time mm-hmm. so it's counterintuitive and it like destroys your butt over and over and over again <laughs> And it hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. It's a good game. Okay. So my top three, I I can honestly say I have an unhealthy relationship with Metal Gear Solid. I've I've beat every game except for the third one. Uh, I wrote a college paper on the entire series i did like a psychoanalysis of every single character every uh, interesting every main character that's weird um i would say that's weird but it's like yeah. not not as weird as my chicken little videos so i guess <laughs> i guess you're good you're clear in in the most recent metal gear solid game i have at least 600 hours all doing the same online missions over and over again. <laughs> How can you do that? Well, because, okay, I'm going to explain it, and it's going to sound like I have a problem, and I don't... You do have a problem. I know, I know. Okay, so when you do the online stuff, uh, basically you're raiding someone, another player's base, and mm-hmm. doing different things. Oh, and, and uh, the base is being protected by 
artificial intelligence in the form of uh, soldiers on your base. And then there's four four connected struts on each base. So if if they have the most the biggest built out base you enter on this first strut and you need to get to number four you have to go through two three and four now these are soldiers Mm -hmm. so they're trained to you know uh track down anybody that's an invader if they hear a noise they go investigate it so what i'll do is i'll purposely make noise so i can see how they (laughs) how they behave Uh and and see if i can come up with a different way to get through with them knowing mm-hmm. them knowing, oh, there's somebody here, but they're in a different area investigating something. And I need to get by. So like, I'll do so that. You're like, uh, you're just making it harder for yourself, basically. Yeah, as a as a challenge, like yeah. self challenge. Well, I wouldn't say harder. More like I'm forcing myself to play differently. I, I'm I'm putting myself in a, a somewhat different situation, and mm. and now I have to figure out how to get out of this. It, it's the same the same end goal, but. I'm kind of like rewriting time. Last time, I mean, last time I took the path to the left, I, I'm making it so I purposely can't go to the left, or left. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I um, I kind of have a problem too. Uh, I well, I used to have a problem with uh, Pokemon X and Y. Mm-hmm. The uh, the Wonder Trade feature was introduced, and oh my god, I have like max whatever the max time is on that game it's like nine 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 hours and all i did was wonder trade i have an entire box of just wonder traded like hacked in shinies mm. because like people just wonder trade hack shinies all the time and i don't know if i have any legitimate ones but like i have a whole bunch of like i have just an entire box filled with shiny pokemon just from doing that over yeah. and over and over again for for like my what two weeks of my life Wow, <laughs> or like way more than that, or so. I don't. Know. That's crazy. crazy. I can't sit on Wonder Trade that long because <laughs> because I get tired of seeing uh, was it Scatterbug and and, <laughs> and Magic Car show up. Show up. I get tired. Fletchling, of it. Fletchlanders. Fletchling, yeah, I get tired yeah, of Fletchling. it. Uh, another game, uh, Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is I don't know if you're familiar. It's a pretty popular. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. I got rid of game. all of the cards that I had all because my mom my mom was like, oh. We have this entire box of like, uh, like two thousand magic cards, and I'm like, oh. And she asked me if I, oh, do you play magic? And I was like, no. And she gave them away, and I was like, uh, man, now that I know what it is, we have some cards that we could have sold, but uh, because there were all the older cards and stuff. Oh, oh, the the really good ones. Yeah, super old, like, different frames yeah, like, and all that. Yeah, stuff like that. And I was like, ah, sad life. Now I have I do draft. I do a lot of. Uh, the drafts that happen on Friday nights or if it's if it's the week before a new set comes out I do the pre-release so I have absolutely too many cards because I don't really do constructed stuff which is when you build the decks and play um, I, I I the only thing that I do constructed is commander which is a special way to play you don't need to have the best cards it's actually a lot mm-hmm. of fun to have lower level cards and see who can win um so I play a lot of Magic. That's number two. Number three. What's what's my number three? I'm looking around. I got games everywhere. What's my number three favorite series? Uh, Werewolf. <laughs> if 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 One Night Ultimate Werewolf counts as a series because they have what f- I think four or five different expansions. Yeah. If, if that counts okay. as a series, that's my favorite because I <laughs> a series I, because of expansions. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's something. If if you want if you want to hook me in a game. If you want to hook me in a game, make it so that players can be liars. If 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 lying is a mechanic in your game, I am down for it. 100%. 100%. What, I, what do you mean? Like, if, if, okay, okay. Like, let, let me say this. In RuneScape, you have open chat, right? You can just type whatever you want to any player. Mm-hmm. So the fact that you can lie to some player to get you to get, give them money or something like that, is like luring people or something like that, is, is that... For scamming people, does that make it a good game because people can scam other people? No, that does not make it a good game, but that's not what I said. What I said you is... You said lying! What I said is, lying. I'm in. I am there. I'm here for it. <laughs> That does not make it a good game at all. Okay, you sh- you okay. Scam does, that make it a, does that make it a game that you'd play, though, because people can scam you? Hell yes. <laughs> what the? Okay. That that's why I like okay. Commander so much because, like I said, when you play with a lot of lower level, lower level power cards, um, in Magic: The Gather, when you play Commander mode or Commander, 
mm-hmm. format. Um, then politics becomes a, a much more important part of the game. You can convince someone, mm-hmm. hey, we should team up and take on this guy. Hey, don't take me down this turn, and I can help you in the future. And that's the oh, same. Oh, I see. And, and that's see. A, and that's the same thing with One Night Ultimate Werewolf or other games like that. Uh, basically, the point of the game is you have a role. You're given a role at the beginning of the game, and if you're on Team Werewolf, which means you're a werewolf or one of the people under the werewolf, um, you want to make sure no werewolves die at the end of the game. Uh, if you are not on Team Werewolf, you want to kill a werewolf uh, at the end of the game. Now, what's cool is not ev- no one else knows what your role is. Eh, it changes because everyone has different abilities, and some of those abilities will move other players' roles around, and you won't know. You won't always know if you still have the same role that you started with. So you need to use mm-hmm. information to get information out of other people so you can figure out what happened. But someone could be is lying. It, is this- is this like the game where you have a card and you have it like on your forehead and then you try to guess what the what the card suit and the card like number or uh, the, whatever it is like is on your head like yeah. face up and then like people you try to get information out of people but then they're like oh you could be lying or whatever. And- yes. Yes. If you tie in the fact that. OK, so let's say you and I are playing and I have mm-hmm. I have a diamond on my head. And you have, let's say you have a club on your head. If Mm -hmm. in the rules it says diamonds, if you see it, if you're talking to a diamond, you have to lie, then yes, that's exactly how it works. Oh, okay. That's exactly how it works. Um, I see. So, like, it always, it's one of my favorite party games because I always bring it to, whenever I'm going to be in a group of people that's, uh, I'll say about seven people or more, and we don't have anything that we're going to do for the night. I always bring werewolf, and I'll introduce them to the game. And normally, it takes about three games. After three games, most of the people understand it, and they're ready to go. They're ready to lie. They're ready to be lied to, and it's so much fun. <laughs> it's 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 kind of called a defector mechanic. If you are a defector, if if your game has a defector, I will immediately love it. You're on a rant again. No. No, I'm I'm parlaying into our third question. What is your favorite uh, game mechanic? You see how I lined that up? Uh huh. Well, I didn't know what that was, so you just sounded like you were ranting. No, no, I knew exactly what I was doing there. Uh huh. <laughs> if if your game has lying or the fact that someone on one team can switch to another game, I will. I'm sorry, on one team can switch to another team, and not everybody knows it. I will instantly love it because, like, I I like. The politics. I like politics in uh, video games because you can you can have all the skill you want, but if you don't understand what motivates other people, your skill doesn't matter. Your skill will will not play a complete factor in you winning or losing the game. There's always the chance that okay. it could flip. Well, so my favorite game mechanic. I don't really have a favorite game mechanic uh, from any specific game, mm-hmm. but I do enjoy uh, when you can't sprint midair. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't like when you're in air and you can't, you can't sprint forward or move faster when you're in the air. Like something that has like r- super ridiculous like gravity physics or something like that. I absolutely hate. So anything that has like a good mechanic where like you don't just like it matches real life, I guess. Like You're, at least like gravity physics match you, better. You like you like realism. Yeah, like okay. when when you can tell somebody puts like time and effort in the game to make it make it uh have that much more sense. Like mm-hmm. put that much more sense into the game. Be like, oh yeah, this, this we didn't think about this mechanics. So like have like a stupid. I don't know, glitch where you can, like, fly for some no apparent reason. Like, Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, that's fun, but it's not like, oh, well, they should have, like, known that that would do that and patched it beforehand or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So any game that's, like, actually built and structured well around around the theme, like, sure, I don't really care if it's, like... Let's see if uh, it doesn't really have to do with gravity, I guess. Mm-hmm. But like gravity is the, the best one that I can say that like people mess up on. Um, if mm-hmm. 
super unfun then or make no sense or whatever then it's just like dumb but otherwise then it's good uh. <laughs> i mean uh just build the game correctly guys the first 100 <laughs> his favorite mechanic is when you build the game the right way yes <laughs> That's dope. Uh, or like or like or like extra easter eggs and stuff like that i guess you could say that's a game mechanic easter eggs that are very well like thought out or very well made or something mm -hmm. like that or traps that are very well made like dark souls or something like that uh yeah gotcha people thought about it or played through it and were like hey i think that somebody's gonna come here eventually because they're stupid mm -hmm. or like you know because or because they think oh like no one's ever gonna do that i'm try it and then like actually it works for you or something like that That'd be gotcha gotcha okay so the next one name one wait 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 before before you go into this alt play wanted this to be 15 minutes long <laughs> i was just gonna i was just gonna uh, let that go <laughs> yeah no we're let do you, do you know you thought, you thought this was gonna be 15 minutes do you, do you know where we what? were what what question we were at at the 15 minute point the first one we hadn't even got to the first question <laughs> <laughs> right 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 see i told you this is gonna be longer it's all crazy good. It's, it's all good. gonna be 15 minutes it's all good i said as long as we make 15 i'm happy uh, i'm happy because i know i can i can i'm having a good time i can make stuff go by a lot faster than i plan on so i, I shot low i shot low and that's fine okay. low ball it. so question number four name one improvement you would make to your favorite series this might be this might be one that you got to think on so if if you want me to go first i'm ready for it Oh, you already have your your answer ready for you. Well, not ready, but I have along the lines of uh, of of like what I would change. You know. Okay, so my favorite series, no doubt, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear, I I like I said, I beat every Metal Gear uh -huh. Solid except for the third one. And the only reason I haven't beat the third one is because once I got, uh, uh I don't know how familiar you are with Metal Gear Solid, the the series, but basically, I literally have no idea. What, okay, except for that, there's like a boss in it that that threatens to delete your save file on your gamecube or something like that it's like oh i know okay yeah you're, you're right you're right okay um <laughs> I'll, I'll give you i'll give you a synopsis of over a uh, pretty much every single game okay so it, they're all sneaking mission games uh the point of it is for you to sneak in basically from the start you have no weapons you you have maybe maybe what is a potion in pokemon to to heal you <laughs> <laughs> uh, to heal you in yeah. the event that you need it, but past that, you're you you're going in naked, and um, along the way you uncover that there's some top secret stuff going down, and most of the time there's a huge weapon that is actually a nuclear uh weapon that uh is being developed, and you have to stop the weapon from being deployed as well as the person who's trying to deploy it. That that's the bare so line. So basically, we should basically we should send, like, base this game in North Korea, and you have what's happening right now. Mostly, that's that's the yeah. bare that's the bare bones of each game. They okay. they more or less fit that. Now the third one is significant from the rest because it's actually set in the past. The third one in the game, it, the third game in the series is actually the very first in the entire series story wise um and because of that it's a prequel mm, it's a prequel to the entire series and because of that uh you are even more dedicated to survival uh like i said normally they give you a potion in this one you have to hunt and kill your own food to heal yourself as well as find things that will heal you in the event that you break a bone or suffer cool. a major energy yeah it makes sense it's it's, yeah. it's super cool the only catch is again it's super realistic so let's say you're playing on a monday okay and you go out hunt and you hunt some crocodiles and you hunt some rabbits okay okay crocodiles and rabbits if, nice. if you hunt them and you keep them in your inventory and you don't play the game between monday and let's say friday when you come back friday you don't have the crocodile and the rabbit they've rotted Ew. they've rotted so again this is how you heal this is how you that's heal. not that's the way i um there's oh that that must be the same game then there was a, a game where like 
people I, I i don't know you watch the stupid top 10 videos on the internet there's mm. like billions of them mm. where they they just talk about random useless facts you're never going to use but it's like clickbait so you click it anyway and you sit there like a freaking potato and watch it mm-hmm. well anyway that's me like 90 percent of the time so i'm i've watched a lot of these videos and one of them was like the final boss you just have to like not play your game for a week and the guy ends up dying anyway well it's not the fun i know what you're talking about it's not the like final so, boss. somewhere it's, in there it's, yeah, it's, it's one later on uh basically you're playing against an old sniper he's he's super old and <laughs> there's several different ways you can take him out he's actually really hard to to fight hand or uh, combat to combat you need to snipe him because he can see you over a distance he's connected with the forest um but the easiest way to kill him is to just save your game. Come back a week later, real world time. And then when you come back, he will have died. The game will say he has died of old age. He didn't He didn't die the way he wanted to. You should have honored him with battle, blah, 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 things like that. What I would, oh, man. But, but what Sad I, life. It's, it's actually really cool. Like the game, the whole series does a bunch of stuff like that. But what I would. That's so depressing. Yeah, it is. It actually is. Because like they, they kind of give him a. a, a somewhat interesting story mm-hmm. uh throughout the series it's it's actually kind of sad to have them go that way but what i would change about the series as much as i love it i would change i would give the game you know the ability to modify difficulty like i said the most recent game i played entirely too much and the reason i played it so much is because i want to build different scenarios that i put myself in and i have to get myself Mm -hmm. out like i said if i if last time i took the path to the left uh what i what i'll do is i'll throw uh an empty magazine it'll hit the ground they'll hear it and then they'll investigate the left so now Mm -hmm. i have to figure out how to go to the right but i wish something like that was built in there's no way to Uh, so uh in dark souls Mm -hmm. there's a mechanic where um once you beat the game and you restart the game over again, it gets harder the second time mm-hmm. and then harder again the third time up until seven times hard, like difficulty. So you want some sort of mechanic like that within the uh, the Metal Gear well, I, series. Well, I kind of want them to be like learning enemies. Like I've, I've always I've always liked the idea of uh, learning AI, not just in video games, but like in, in general. I've always liked the idea of learning AI. I want the game to get suited to me and actually... So like it- so, oh, that's, so, that's so a like, good idea. So like, if the game, if one of the things I do in in every single Metal Game, Metal Gear game, once I get the sniper rifle, that's that's what I use for the rest of the game because I like I I've always enjoyed sniping in Metal Gear games. They feel good to me, and I'm at, I'm really at the point where that's all that I use. Even if, even if I'm twenty meters away from you, I'm using the sniper <laughs> rifle because I've gotten good yeah. to the point where I don't even need to aim anymore. Once once yeah. I once I draw the gun, I know exactly how I need to move it to get you. I want the game to get. I want I I'd love for it to have learning AI to where they say, "Oh snap, we're being invaded." I hear he's good with sniper rifles. Let's let's combat. Let's let's have the proper armor so that a sniper rifle can't take us out. Let's have oh, okay. let's have guns and equipment so that we're going to be anti-sniper rifle. We're basically going to be close combat. And then and then have have some sense of radar or something like that to where they can tell where I am because that's how you stop a sniper. You you figure so, out where they are. Uh, uh, what would it? Let, let's say, um, like, because do they have any sort of randomness? Like, I know in Dark Souls they have. If you attack, you know, you go up to the same enemy multiple times in a row, you'll eventually come up with a pattern, but it won't be the same pattern. They have a multiple multiple different attacks. They have like one attack where they like throw a throw a knife at you or something and then try to attack you and then another one they'll like just straight up brush you or something like that well um or like a lunge attack or whatever but eventually they start doing it in the same pattern if you c- combat them enough mm. so you want some sort of like randomness that doesn't go away like it or it's suited to uh would it be better if, like if it's random like that or would it be better if it's like suited specifically for you and then because i feel like that mechanic could come a lot you would have to balance that mm-hmm. so well mm-hmm. because your goal is to win but if they make it so difficult because of you using the same weapons over and over again 
that makes it impossible for you to win the way that you right. have always been doing. Right. So like, yeah. There, there's a there's definitely a limit to it. What they what one of the characters says when you uh when you radio him asking for advice on what you should do, um, mm-hmm. he tells you they've gotten used to how you do this. How you how you sneak in here? How you get out with what uh, you need? But from what I can tell, it's not that they're suited towards me. It's just that they boosted their defenses. They stopped wearing crappy <laughs> armor, and they've just gotten like the next tier of uh, armor. It's not armor specific to the weapons that I use frequently. It's uh, just it's just better armor. Like they instead of spending ten dollars on it, they spent fifteen. You know, <laughs> like upgrade, upgrade, yeah. upgrade. And it and it's it's a step, but again. It's not, it, and I can take away like everything that should help me out. I can take away, uh, basically my helper that tells me anything that's happening. I can take, yeah, I can do it yourself. I can not yeah. use the binoculars that'll ID everything for me and keep track of stuff, so I don't really have to pay attention. But mm-hmm. even it's gotten to a point where like I've added mods that will instead <laughs> increase people's senses, so that if you can only see me, if normally they can only see me a hundred meters away, instead now they can see me two hundred. So I really can't sneak in. I really can't even snipe. I, I can't get close enough to hit them. But Mm-hmm. I figured out how to get past that. It's I need I need I need learning AI. That's what I need. One of the things that even made me think about that was uh Smash Brothers, the most recent Smash Brothers. If you get if you buy amiibo, uh you can Oh yeah. You can train against the AI and save it to the uh-huh. amiibo. And if you scan it again to fight that amiibo, that amiibo has learned a little bit about how you fight. And that's genius. That's perfect. Because that's the perfect way to train uh for something like Smash Brothers. That's that's genius. I would love that in, in every game where artificial intelligence or a computer opponent, computer based opponent is would be great. I would love that. Okay. Well, uh we talked about that for a long time. Jeez. Uh <laughs> I don't know if I can up that. I, I, I think I pretty much like explained my point of view. I like Dark Souls a lot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like I like the mechanic. So if I was going to add something, I would add. I don't know what I'd add. Like, am I going to add something to Dark Souls? I'd probably add more like fun little doohickeys you can do or like, you know, um, unconventional methods like make every method viable because mm-hmm. like there's so many options that you have but they're like not all good because you have um yeah yeah well more balanced i guess I, is what i want but like because you can like parry things mm-hmm. um which basically stuns your enemy and then you do a special attack which kills them instantly or like not or not like kills them instantly but just like way ma- major damage i'm just too powerful for the the normal enemies so i basically one shot them when i do that but uh but you can like if you have a shield right a shield you can block with and then you can also parry but you can equip into your uh your shield slot you can equip a rapier there too mm-hmm. which if you um when you would normally block with a shield now you you do a jab you do like a little bit of a jab you can also parry with it still um so something like that is completely useless in the game because it like the the amount that you'd get out of blocking or the help you get from blocking completely nulls out any other thing in your slot there aside from the shield. Uh, so uh, I they did a little bit with that. dual hand a weapon instead of use it with one hand. You do uh, five times the damage, which is actually really cool. But um, if you use anything like ranged or anything, it's just not practical whatsoever. So like more options in the game that were viable and like you can mess around with and make it more um just like far easier to to learn or like have different options for doing different things and things like that Mm -hmm. would you say would you say okay so like let's say you said a rapier and what a longbow you said longbow. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, uh, would would you the ones that are like bad? Would would you say? Would you say like if the rapier is successful? but the longbow isn't would you say training the longbow at a higher level or getting stronger in th- than you are with the rapier would you say that is successful you am, am i doing a bad job of explaining that <laughs> 
Without, yes, yes, you're okay. doing a terrible job. <laughs> okay, okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, let's let's see. So like using something like at a lower level versus using it at a higher level, right? Like the scaling of the weapons or right. something, right? So if like uh, you're you're trying to beat down a guy, you're trying to kill him with the rapier, and it takes like level ten, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, would you say taking the longbow to level fifteen would work? You know, um. Or or just flat out the longbow doesn't work. That's a, like that's straight out that like it's impractical or like entirely pointless to use it. Like to like dead content basically. Okay, got gotcha. you. It, it just okay. does not do anything compared to the other options in which you have. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, so so you can't and like, you can't grind it up. No, nah, well you well you can level up weapons, not to the, but what I the other ones scale better okay. or like or. Way, way better than the other one. Okay. Like other options that you have. Got you. Mm-hmm. Got fifth it. question. I think we're on fifth, right? Yeah, number five. That was actually yeah. a really number good five. answer there. I like that answer. That was a good answer for number five. Right, thank you. All right. Create a game based on your favorite TV show slash film series. Uh, no, not this question. Not this I one. don't watch we're television. We're skipping it. Oh, God. I don't watch television. <laughs> okay. Like, do you watch television? I, I haven't watched TV in a long time. When it comes yeah. uh, I don't know, Same. like a lot of people don't know this, but I used to produce things for uh, different news stations. And when you when you watch TV, or I shouldn't say news stations, they were they were actually TV stations. They heavily focus mm-hmm. on the news. Uh, but when you when you produce a lot of things, you get tired of watching TV shows and stuff like that. You like know how it's produced, and you're just yeah. like, oh, this is this isn't. Good. This is like formula. Yeah, you can see all the lines and the seams and things like that, and that and it actually still haunts me to the day to today. I still don't watch TV, but I, I if, since since I came up with the question, it's only fair that I answer it. You know, so so let's see. One of the TV shows when back when I used to watch TV uh, that I would watch all the time is Heroes. I enjoy Heroes because it's it's it was it started as a comic book and it mm-hmm. focuses on uh, these people that. I think they one day wake. I need to rewatch it. I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, they focus on people who one day wake up and they all have superpowers. They all realize that they have superpowers one way or another. There's a cheerleader who she effectively can't die. Her body heals really quickly. Like the Wolverine just without having uh, the, the claws. Right. Um, there's a man who can fly. There's... <laughs> That's a great superpower. Like, when do you just wake up and fly? Like, yeah. How do you control that? He, he That's the thing. He can't. I'm not going to get too into it. I'm not going to get too into it. He can't. Um, There's a there's a guy who... Let's see. Who's another person? There's a guy Freaking who... Freaking sneeze and you get launched into the stratosphere. <laughs> he learns that he can read people's minds. And what, I, what I've always liked about heroes is that they handle in a very real world way. This girl who this girl, this cheerleader, she's a high school student. She learns that she can't really injure herself. She heals really quickly. And what she does is as a as a high school student, she tries to figure out ways how or how far she can take this eventually to the point where she throws herself off of the top of I think it's like just like some structure, some some That's rusted really out structure. Depressing. Yeah, she throws herself from the top of there. Uh, she. It looks like she has died. Her her bones have all broken out of her body, and yeah. very slowly she yeah. gets up and she heals herself. They've always taken a real world crack at this, uh, at, at how they do it. But I've never. I don't think I've ever discussed making a game out of that. I would love to be uh-huh. in an MMO in that universe because they handle it very real world. Like I said, mm-hmm. just the chiller who can heal. It's not that. It starts out, she can just heal really quickly. Eventually, it gets to the point, I think she can't feel damage. Like, at the beginning, she could feel everything. So she, when she jumped from mm-hmm. the structure, she felt all of that. Her bones broke. She felt the yeah. blood leaving her body. Eventually, that would hurt. Eventually, it gets to the point where her her evolution has even evolved. And oh. now she can't feel anything. She holds her hand over fire. She doesn't feel it. Uh, pretty well, much. it's like meant. That's like totally mental, though. You can actually do that in real life. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, just turn off your sensitivity to pain, but you have to turn off your sensitivity to feeling anything. Mm-hmm. But like, again, pain is all like in your head. It's yeah, chemicals. It's, it's a mental like, chemical. Thing. You can like do it. Mm-hmm. It gets to a point where uh, her 
her healing factor works so strong that she can't get drunk. Um, hmm. A whole bunch of things like that because her liver is working so quickly. Um, a, a whole bunch of things like that. Uh, I would love to see an MMO in that universe because oh, yeah. because that that's all a skill tree is. A skill tree is you evolving and getting better at mm-hmm. all the things that you've been doing before or being able to I'm do thinking- it more efficiently. You uh, you kind of sparked something because, like, really, I don't watch very many. I don't watch movies. Mm-hmm. I don't watch um, TV series. I don't. I don't do any of that. There is one movie which I uh, again. I was watching Mojo Jojo dot com. <laughs> God, I watched this ten spoiler alert <laughs> moments in movies or some stupid shit, and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And um, I came across The Prestige, um, which looked like a good movie along. Like, it was actually a good enough looking movie that I watched it. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's, like, never happened to me before. You don't don't just, like, drive past a Burger King, see the burger in the the window or, like, the big, big burger that's on special or whatever. And it's, like, $5 burger with all this stuff on it. You don't just, like, look at that and be like, hell, yeah, I want that. You know, Uh you're just like, meh. Like ninety percent of ninety nine percent of the time, you're just like meh. I don't gotta drive in there immediately to pick up that burger. That doesn't. Well, at least that's not me. Right. Well, I actually was. I actually found this movie so interesting that I ended up watching it. It's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen, if not my favorite movie I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just made out so well, a uh, thought out entirely, like perfectly, mm-hmm. um, and it's really hard to follow. And then. And, like, you, you think of all these different things, like, because uh, the, basically what the, the prestige is, is a movie about magicians. And uh, so, uh, of course, it's going to be a freaking amazing because magicians are so cool. Now, um, uh, so, they, <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I know I'm not sure whether or not to laugh at, his, at that. Uh, it's like a weird joke. Mm. Anyway, so... Uh, magician it, it's like an anyway the prestige is the third part or the third scene that completes the the trick so like if i was going to make something disappear you know the reappearing of that of that object that disappeared would be the prestige it would be like the mm-hmm. the cherry on top like the finisher well um the whole movie is about uh this like this one magician who's trying to f- figure like he was working with uh his friend and they were doing a show together and then uh his wife gets killed by something the other guy does mm-hmm. because they did the trick wrong or something like that and uh and eventually they split and then one of them decides oh i'm gonna start like my show up again but i'm gonna do it under different name and all that stuff and the other guy decides oh i'm gonna start my show up again but do it under a different name and then it's like a rivalry between them and then uh anyway eventually like spoiler alert like the whole like you think about all these different things that mm-hmm. could happen and uh it literally is none of those it's but it makes so much sense watching it back and i like and then a game with repeatability, like that's, I guess, the point of it. Like when you watch the movie, you have to watch it like three times over and you get all these different things out of it every single time. And it's like super cool. Well, if you have a game that's the exact same game over and over again, uh-huh. but you see things in a totally different light, that would be super cool mm-hmm. to me. And like see all these different things changing when in reality changing, but your, your perspective has changed so much that it changes the entire experience of the game. Uh, yeah, that will work. There, there's <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> well, because well, like as as you were saying that, I was trying to evaluate, evaluate um something like I'm not sure if you're familiar with what do you call it the the damn what's it called the oh man uh it's it's a game where there, there's a narrator it's a, it's a first person experience there's a narrator. And he's telling you, like he's narrating, and he's kind of telling you what to do. But you have the mm-hmm. option to to 
do what you want. Like for example, the narrator, he's he's a British guy. He he's he says he woke up and decided he was going to go through the door on the left. And instead, you can either listen to him and go through the door on the left, or you can go mm-hmm. through the door on the right. And neither answer, neither answer is wrong. Neither answer is the one that you're supposed to do. But it like each mm. each time you choose to listen to his direction or you do what you want, it creates your own experience. It changes the experience. Mm-hmm. I was trying to think like in my mind, I was like, that sounds a little bit like it sounds a little bit like this, you know? Oh, um, not necessarily. Like what you're saying is like kind of like Doki Doki. Where, like, you play the game, and it's like, oh, man, this bad thing happened, but now I know who the antagonist is, so I can go back through the game and play it with a new light. Well, mm. Doki Doki is a very bad example of that game, because mm. that, that game is so ridiculously long. I played that for seven and a half hours. Like, that's how long my one playthrough was, and all it is is text. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a, it's a, it's a text-based game, right? So you, all you're doing is reading text and making connections and all this stupid stuff that just really could be condensed down into about an hour's worth of gameplay um it's just not worth going through that game again just to have a different experience and choose these different options my my thing is is going through the exact same game like literally exactly the same but knowing like but seeing all these different little things and how they connect and being like oh that's what that meant that's what that meant this is what this was supposed to be uh, like referencing in the future i was supposed to know that but i did or didn't know you know like i didn't make that connection gotcha i think i realized the game i was talking about stanley parable i don't know if you ever heard about that i have not but i was told to play it honestly i think you would like that i think i think you will enjoy the stanley parable i was told to play that by um my girl actually so, but I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I literally has not come to my head until you brought that up. Like yeah. you said that, like, I haven't thought about it since you told me to play it. Yeah. I, I feel think, bad. I think you would enjoy that. I think, I think that's, that's something, I think that's an experience that would be right up your alley. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think, look into that. Not saying you have to. Next question. Not saying. Moving on. <laughs> Next question. We got to get through this. Okay. Why do you? There's well, so many questions. This is the last question. There was there were gonna be more. There were gonna be more, but I had to go to sleep. <laughs> oh sure. Okay. Last question. What's one game that has always looked interesting to you, but you haven't yet played? Well, that's an easy one. It's because what I explained earlier, I don't look at games, so I don't <laughs> know which games I do or do not want to play. <laughs> All right. Let me see. For me. To be honest, I'm, I'm going to say this in my old age. To be honest, Call of Duty, any of the Call of Duties, any of them, give, give me all the Calls of Duty. Call of Duty. Call, it's, it, call it's, of Duty. It's always looked interesting to me, and I say that because the game has moved. It's moving so quickly. It's moving so quickly. Mm-hmm. And by the time I establish what's going on the screen i know i would be dead i don't stand a chance i know that for a fact i don't stand a chance at all in Mm -hmm. call of duty but it's always looked like a a really fun game to play i've never really heard anybody say oh i was playing call of duty i didn't have a good time might not have won (laughs) i understand that they might not have won and that makes some people sad but i never hear somebody say oh i had a bad time i'm never playing again and then they actually they actually don't play again you know so, mm-hmm. so like, I, I feel like Call of Duty is that one. And to be honest, I kind of wish I got into it when it was first starting out. Because I know I don't stand a chance now. Like, I, I, could, yeah. I could always go back in and or not go back, but get the newest one when it comes out. But I know I don't stand a chance at all. My eyes aren't that yeah. good. My eyes and my reflexes aren't that good. <laughs> Old man status can't play the new games coming out. Absolutely. I know for I a try fact. To teach- I try to teach my grandpa how to play um, Pokemon. The first Pokemon mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. didn't go over. <laughs> and that, he couldn't figure couldn't figure it out. And that's exactly never, never understood. That's exactly why I stick to turn based strategy games and card games now because <laughs> I know for a fact my reflexes aren't that good. Yeah. Let me see. Woo. 
Did it. All all the questions. All six questions. All, all six, six questions. All <laughs> six. <laughs> Asterisk six <clears throat> questions. All six questions. Okay. Uh-huh. So there what, were seven. There were seven? There were seven. There were seven? There me... was, you, you had seven. Okay. I think you sent me seven. I might but have. Don't, I might... don't bring up the next one. What, what is seven? Right. I might have seven. There was seven. There was seven. I'm pretty sure there were seven. Seven? Are we talking about the the whole thing we talked about on Twitter? No. Um. What was seven? Well, we could talk about the. Okay. You want to talk about the thing on we, Twitter? We, we sure we can go for another hour. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you thought you had to go to bed? No. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to. Hey, we can make this. Part. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? We can do a part two. Well, I I I want just the videos to be one long one. Well, yeah, I know one one not like a part two is in oh, part oh, two. Oh, a part oh, two part is two. in a second An- another, session. Another episode of the pot. Okay, that works. Yeah. you know, I, I like the way you think. Okay, so it looks like Joe just just signed himself up for a second. <laughs> a, second a second torture, episode. second torture session. Okay. Okay, and and then when we go to record the second one, uh, I will have figured out where we started our our long. I don't want to call it a debate because it wasn't a debate. We weren't trying to convince each other that oh, uh, that the other was wrong. We were more having a discussion. Yeah. So I'll I'll figure out where our discussion started because because like uh, I, I, we we have a lot of stuff we can talk about, man. Yeah. Cause, cause I, there's I, so I, much I, stuff. Because I definitely like to start at the top of that because like we both made yeah. a bunch of. Uh, metaphors and comparisons and stuff. I like to start all the way at the top. All right. So I appreciate you, good sir, good sir Jonas, for joining me on the very first episode of the Adventure Cast. I uh, had no idea this was the first episode until you said it at the beginning of this. Oh yes, this like this was this was an idea that I have been the sitting pilot on. episode. Yeah, I've been sitting on this for a while, and people, I, I know people on the channel do know that. When I want to do something, I'll do it, but I only do it when I'm 100% ready. I can be 99% ready, and I'm still not going to do it. I, I was ready today. I've been hyper all day at work. They was wondering what was wrong with me. I told them I got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been sitting on this idea for a while, and I'm, I'm actually ready to go like, forward with it. I'm ready, I'm ready, to, ready to start talking <laughs> to a guy I've never met. Or never talked to before. But I do appreciate <laughs> you, sir, for joining me for the episode. Um, yeah. What I'm going to give Thank you the you opportunity, for... opportunity, excuse me, to do right now, I'm going to let you tell them where they can find you on the internet as well as what they can expect from your channel. Feel free to do so now. You have 60 seconds. Oh, man, I have 60 seconds. Well, um, number one. It's in the description, unless Alt Play decides or uh, chill uh, or whatever. Do you like? Do you prefer Alt Play or chill? See, I'll I'll save your time. Let's see, eight seconds. You you got eight gone. I'm joking with you. Um, I actually <laughs> I actually do not like to be called Alt Play. That's that's not my okay. name. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Alt Play was actually not supposed to be just me. It was supposed to be me uh-huh. and a group of my friends. I was I was supposed to be like the main person. Because I'm the one that's doing this stuff all the time, but it was yeah. not supposed to be just me. It was supposed to be me and my friends as well. Uh, a lot that's of kinda... a lot of life stuff came up, and uh, I have friends like they they moved to different cities or they've got other obligations that they have to handle. And I told them I'm 100 percent understand that, but now I'm stuck with the channel, and everyone calls me Alt Play. Alt Play is not my name. Alt Play. Alt Play Chill. just stands for alternate play on the channel. Uh, what I focus on is. Mostly strategy games, but also playing games different ways, adding your own rules or making your own challenges and things like that. So that's that's okay. where all play came from. Well, there you go. You should have put that at the beginning because I feel like that's something that people would actually care about. Well, if if you <laughs> if you're paying attention to how many times I add different rules to games, it should be obvious. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Chill. Uh. Anyway. So I, I guess you kind of had the same thing as my channel because my channel was supposed to be with Julian, but then mm-hmm. Julian doesn't really end up doing very much. Like he edits some stuff, mm-hmm. stuff on there, but I'm like the main person that does stuff. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. my channel. Anyway, so you can find my channel in the description below if Chill <clears throat> puts it there. It'll be there. And then, It'll absolutely be there. And then also, uh, I have two other channels you can get to from the main channel, so he doesn't have to put those in there unless he actually wants to. Uh, Lost and just JJ Vlogs. Um, I'll be doing a bunch of dank stuff, like always. We just make dank videos, <laughs> dumb, stupid videos. I, I don't know what to call it on the main channel. It's just dank. Um, that's about it. That's all I got. Dope. And if you're one of <laughs> if you're one of Jonas's <laughs> subscribers or uh, between the lines and lost, if you're one of the subscribers there and would like to uh, check out more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on that little hit that little notification button that way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever I do something special like a live stream. Those pop up all the time. Whenever whenever I'm bored, truly, truly and honestly, I live stream whenever I'm bored. So. <laughs> So there's that. Okay, and upcoming things on the channel. I actually have, I think, let's see, it's coming out after. Is it coming out after this this video goes live? No, it probably it just came out. Yeah. It's coming out after. On Tuesday, upcoming Tuesday, I'm actually uh, that's Monday. I'm an idiot. Next week, sometime next week, uh, I'm actually doing a series that I've absolutely wanted to play on the channel for a long time. I just never figured out how I how I had to make it work. And I figured it out. It's Pikmin. Uh, I wanted to play Pikmin from start to finish. I in, love Pikmin. In one shot. Because that's, that's one of the games, like when it comes to challenges, that game is a true challenge. If you don't know what you're doing, you will waste time and you will lose. So I said, okay, how can I go about playing this game on the channel uh, and doing it in a way that makes it worth watching. I don't want to surprise people, quote unquote, surprise people and make them waste their time just to see me lose at the end of the game. I said, what if I save them their time? What if I release all the episodes at once? You're welcome, Internet. I did it. So all the episodes are going to post 30 minutes one after wow. another, every single one. When I said oh, I man. when I said I had stuff backlogged. Oh, boy. It's it's coming. It's That's coming. That's some spam. <laughs> that is some spam. It's All right. Coming. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me talk to your subscribers and annoy them for an hour and whatever minutes. No problem. Once again, uh, we played a game over on his channel. That link is in the description and below. All the links. All the links are in the description below. Every single one. Any link you could think of. All of them. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are the uh, ice cream stores near you all in the description. Them. All, all of, of the ice cream it's, stores. It's every single one. Not you one know, is you missing. Need, Go look. You need, a, you need a special board made at Home Depot. There's the link right there. Go look. It's there. It, all of it. Even, even, all of it. Even how you can build your own birdhouse. It's get it. Get, go get it. It's there. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Adventure Cast. I'm going to go. I'm hungry and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a great day. See y'all. Dab. Dab. Okay. <laughs> Dab. <Damn. laughs>